Hey there, on today's race, uh, we're going to do Street Stocks at Charlotte. I forgot where I was at for a second there. Uh, not doing VR today. I found an old TV, uh, much bigger. I'm going to see. I've been getting a little bit of motion sickness with VR. So uh, stay tuned. Let's see how we do. So you're asking yourself, Clint, what do you expect from this race? Nobody's asking that, but I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a uh, bloodbath. Uh, one or two guys are going to run away. Uh, the rest of us will be caught up in wreck after wreck. It is my guess. <laughs> low, low expectations. So while we're waiting to go green here, if uh, you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I am in a competition with my daughter to get most subscribers, and she is beating me. Uh, by a lot? That's relative. Okay, Clint. Here we go. Go, go, go. Not a great launch. I'll let this guy go in underneath me. Hold your line. Clear low. Oh, there we go. First wreck. What the First. hell is wrong with y'all? I'll tell ya. Right with you're terrible. I didn't take long. I was trying to avoid him. I'm hoping... If I had to guess, based on the... Inside. Uh, yep, okay, go ahead. Still there. Inside uh, wow, two for one there. The wheel, dude. P3. Uh, we are four laps in. <laughs> uh, I do. I do love. I I love this series, not because it's good, but because it's bad. Fastest lap for Watson, 23.0. The guy behind has just done a 23.4. Carlo. Yep, that was on me. Still there. B4. Fastest lap for Gonzalez, 20 to bear inside. The guy behind has just done a 23.0. I would not be surprised, I don't know if I completed my thought earlier, before there was another wreck, if uh, this car overheats, just based on how the hood is buckled right now. Probably a good chance. That last lap was a 23.3. That's your best lap in this session. Okay, Clint, your water temperature is creeping up. Yep, there it is. Water temperature is creeping up. So... The gap to Gonzalez ahead is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. Probably going to let off right sooner. That's a new fastest lap for Gonzalez, 22.8. Your oh, lap time was 23.3. So, we run her till she blows, or... Cool, it's closing you down. The gap has come down to 1.5 seconds. Yeah, we just run her till she blows, because what difference does it make, right? I'll just keep letting off before I okay, let the engine rest. That's a new fastest lap for Neil, 22.8. If you don't cool this engine, you're really going to fuck it up. Wow, language. I did turn on sweary. Sweary words. It is creeping up there. God. You hate to pull over when you're running P4. I mean... I mean... On one hand, there's no shot I'm going to win this race. On the other hand... 
that lap time was 23.8. There's not going to be a caution. So uh, that, I understand why there's not cautions, because you'd be under constant caution. But... Uh, I race is pretty realistic, so I'm hoping it recognizes that I'm letting off early and letting her coast. I don't know which of those two gauges is my uh, water temperature right rejoining. off the bat. I'm going to assume the one on the right. To Gonzalez ahead is now 4.1. That puts me P3 right now, which makes it more unlikely that I want to pit. This thing, you never know, right? God, I'm trying to take it easy. Behind is now 2.3 seconds. You've just done a 23.9. Oh, I know. I know I'm going slow. I'm aware. See when the the gap to Gonzalez when the is increasing. It's now 0.8. When the uh, crashes are happening at the beginning of the race, you're trying to get through the crashes with some speed instead of just being like, "Look, if I don't make it through this accident, it won't matter." You know, and that's kind of like one of those things. If I had maybe hit the brakes a little more, maybe I lose a couple positions, but I live to fight another day. Uh, whereas, you know, I'm at the potential right now, if the engine doesn't last, to uh, end up, you know, maybe not last, but pretty close. So the engine blows, the engine blows, there's not much I can do about that. Alright, Clint, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. That was a uh, 23.7. He hasn't said anything to, to me. Ahead. I'm just watching that gauge. It's, it's pretty high. That lap was a uh, 24.0. I'm trying not to be boring, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know. I'd rather be racing hard here and not just letting off for the sake of letting off to get through the court, get through the end, the, the, bleh, the race. Hold your line. Water temperature seems to be holding steady. We had a nine second nine second gap to fifth place. In front is now 4.9. See, I, <laughs> I think I just accidentally ran a decent lap. And uh, I just looked over. I was like, why is my water temperature up? But I think I kind of threw caution to the wind and just said, screw it. Going. I'd rather wait till the last, like, couple laps. Yeah, it's creeping up. So I'm going to have to kick her back down here. matters. Like I said, if I can, uh, even if I end up P5, I'll be like, whatever. With a car that's this damaged, all good. I know from a YouTube perspective, probably not the most fun to watch me uh, limp it around the track, 
But hell, I'm good. I'm either get like a decent, okay-ish amount of views or f all. So. Although it, I will say, from a YouTube perspective, someone's gonna find it impressive that if I can make this whole race, right? Like, walk, looking at that water temperature, and I'm not not to say I'm running competitive laps, but I'm not I'm not like out here doing awful. I let it get up to near the rev top or rev range there, or top of the rev range, and then I just back. That's when I back it off. Safety rating may not be good after this, like, but I rating should go up. Okay, Clint. The next car is Watson. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch him. I don't think, unless he crashes. That lap was a 23.8. I shouldn't, with the laps I'm running, get laps. Uh, if anything, the one car, or number one there, or the first place car, hopefully will catch the fifth place car and maybe slow him up a little bit. But I think I'll be okay. He's definitely catching me, like, obviously. Cool. He's closing the gap. Yes, it's I know. now 4.2. Yeah, I have to... Kind of just watching the time there. I want to finish. I want to finish P4. Like that's just. I'm, I'm solidly, piece, within the top five. Let's say that. Okay, P5 may catch me. Uh, but, more than likely, I got six is not a chance. So. I'm hoping. Oh God, if I if I, or, it's coming up on three laps to go. Do we just say F it at this point and let her eat? What do you think? Leave a comment or something. Not that I can see it right now, but leave a comment. Should I let her eat? Oh, it's closing in. The gap is now 2.2. You've just done a 23.6. I, oh, I see that temperature. I see you, Needle. I see you almost at the top. He hasn't said anything. Laps left. Your lap times are improving. This is good. Yeah, they're improving because I, I don't want to end up P5. There's a little bit of competitive nature in me. I was never going to get P3. Okay, let's go. Let her eat. She's at the top. Needle's at the top. I think, I think I'm safe regardless at this point, but... Push harder. We can get a podium here. I don't think so. Just so y'all know, chopping someone's nose does not does not that, that's not what we did. I was clear. She's just a dumbass. Yeah, there we go. P four. P four. And there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Hey, thanks for watching. I actually just went back and watched the replay and uh I'm on one hand, confused as to why there was a cooling issue when there was absolutely no front end. Uh, but on the other hand, kind of impressed that from like lap four or whatever it was that I got into that accident that I lasted the rest of the race and ended up P4. Uh, so if you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, go watch some other videos. Uh, give me give me some uh, helpful hints. What, uh, what would you like to see? How can I improve uh, the editing and everything? Uh, I'm trying to get better, a little bit better each time. Uh, if you have any opinions, let me know, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.